I want to explain the importance of using the Excel sheet to understand two aspects of exponential curves. The first is that an exponential curve is the name of um, is the name we give to this population growth curve because it fits an exponential uh, uh, equation. However, the underlying cause for this curve is that at each increment the specific growth rate is the same, but as the population increases, the increment from time to time uh, in increases. So for example, down here at low populations, you have the same specific growth rate of the population as you do up here. Down here, there's very low population, so the population times the specific growth rate, which gives you the new births or the net increase in population per time, is very small. Up here, when you have a large population, times that same specific growth rate, you get a much larger increment. So it really, it's a constant growth rate with compounding effect. Just like a bank account, whether it's <clears throat> capital in the bank account or a, or, a, or a debt, the more you have, the bigger increment per time period. The second thing I want to illustrate is that the <clears throat> when we talk about the population of the world showing this this J curve, the so-called J curve. It's because it's really a sort of an artifact of how we're presenting that data. Here, if we look at 6,000 BCE up to about 2,000, you can see that it looks really flat all along this bottom part. And then, as they say in, in, in many papers I've read in textbook, it just jumps up that this is a hockey stick or a J curve. But really, this curve was generated at using the same the same growth rate all along for all of these years and it's just an artifact of how we're representing it on an arithmetic scale over here that it that it does that it jumps up like this and we can I can demonstrate this by going into the Excel and changing the scale from changing the scale instead of going from minus 7,000 to 3,000 years just looking at a smaller scale, so for example, from minus 2,000 to zero, sorry, adjusting the vertical scale so that it's automatic. Um, just let it go automatic. You can, you can see that during that time period, you still had a growth rate that was, you know, the curve is, is um, increasing, but it's not at zero. There's substantial increase. It's just that you lose it when you look at the, when you look at it either uh, on the on the full range of population scales up to, up to um, four billion here, or when you go back to the original hockey stick curve. So again, this J curve, we it may be that there were slower growth rates back here, but it's not a it's not as if it all automatically jumped up. We would we would see this curve even if we had constant growth rate over the this entire period from minus six thousand to the year two thousand.